I started by applying a white cream paint to my face, neck, and chest. Just anything that's going to be exposed you want to cover. I ended up doing two coats of the white cream paint. You can do more if you feel it's necessary, but I'm pretty pale as it is. I was singing along to this song as I was making the video. I actually ended up doing three coats, I guess, of cream paint instead of two. Also, my hair is unbrushed and wet. I had just gotten out of the shower. So I started adding red and purple from bruised wheels to my eyes. I also started adding it underneath and then realized that blood's gonna go there. But it ended up that my blood smeared the under eye color and it just wasn't as dark as I would like. So I would suggest just putting it underneath just in case. So I took that same purple color and used a torn up sponge to make some bruising and then broke it up with my fingers. So I started using a light blue Crayola marker to map out veins on my face. This is the only thing that I had that would create a translucent effect like I wanted. But if you had a zombie palette, you could use that. If you don't, you could use a marker like I did, or cream paints even. I started making a really weird face. I guess I couldn't get the wrinkles to go away in my forehead so I could do some veining. I feel like one eye is a lot redder than the other. I wonder if it's because of the lighting.
So I totally forgot about my lips. And I added white cream paint and that purple color again to the outer edges. I did apply the blood off camera, I didn't want to risk dripping it on myself or my carpet. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial and please follow me on my other social media accounts. And subscribe, that's very important.